Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Alexander and I am doing my career presentation on epidemiology. So what is an epidemiologist? Uh, they are public health professionals who investigate patterns and causes of disease and injury in humans and their goal is to reduce the risk and occurrence of negative health outcomes through research, community education, and health policy. So the history. Earlier civilizations were making connections between disease and environmental factors. Hippocrates linked specific diseases to locations, seasons, and climates. A uh, branch of medical science uh, did not become possible until the 1800s when statistical analysis was applied to understanding disease. Uh, in 1865, uh, French chemist and microbiologist Louis Pasteur showed that a specific organism was causing an epidemic in silkworms. And then in 1882, Robert Koch, a German bacteriologist, established the bacterial cause of tuberculosis in humans. Mid-1900s, chronic disease epidemiology began, focusing on the rise of septic ulcer disease, uh, coronary heart disease, and lung cancer. Career paths for epidemiology. Uh, there are plenty of choices. Some of the main ones, though, are infectious disease, uh, veterinary, applied epidemiologist, disaster epidemiology, environmental epidemiology, research epidemiology, chronic disease epidemiology, behavioral epidemiology, and occupational. The duties of an epidemiologist, they plan and direct studies of public health problems to find ways to prevent and treat um, issues when they arise. They collect and analyze data. They do that through observations, interviews with infected people, uh, surveys, and you know surveys by collecting samples of blood and other bodily fluids uh, to find the cause of the disease and other health problems. They communicate their findings to health practitioners, policymakers, and the public. They manage public health problems by planning programs, monitoring their progress, analyzing data, and seeking ways to improve programs in order to prove public health. They also, when you're at a higher level epidemiologist, as a, like a PhD, uh, you'll supervise the master role epidemiolog epidemiologist, um, technical and clerical personnel. Uh, places of employment. Uh, normally, their their government positions uh, in 2014, just over under 6,000 jobs were in epidemiology. Uh, the state had 31 percent. The local government had 22 percent. General medical and surgical hospitals, those are private hospitals, had 12 percent. And then research development in physical engineering and life sciences had 10 percent of employment. College, universities, and professional schools, state, local, and private, had 10%. So the working conditions, typically you, um, as an epidemiologist, you work in offices and laboratories, at health departments, for state and local governments, um, in hospitals, and at colleges and universities. The work environment can vary, um, but however, because of the diverse nature of epidemiology, some epidemiologists also work in the field uh, where you would support emergency actions in clinical settings. Uh, depending on specialization, you may work with the community or may need to travel to support community education efforts or to administer studies and surveys. Most of the time you work full-time, standard eight to five hours, Monday through Friday, uh, but there are some travel overnight and weekends, um, as well as overtime, depending on what position you're in. Um, example is if you're an infectious disease field investigator um, and you work for the CDC, if there was an outbreak of something in a different country or in a different state and you were on that team, you would travel and you'd stay over there for however long you were needed to do the research and surveys and try to find the cause of whatever infectious disease you're over there studying. The pay growth and stability of the job. 
Uh, employment is expected to grow 6% from 2014 to 2024, uh, and that's about as fast as all occupations. The medium wage is around $69,000 a year. The lowest 10% earned uh, less than $46,000, and the highest 10% earned more than $114,000. Normally, if you're master's degree, you're going to earn a, the median wage, sometimes a little more. The PhDs, they're going to earn the highest 10% end of, you know, 114000 or more a year. So for education and training, you'll need to earn a four-year bachelor degree in science, um, any kind of science such as biology, chemistry, or public health. Um, and then you'll have to, as a minimum, get your master's a public health focus in epidemiology. You can go farther with your education and get a PhD if you are looking to be like the lead epidemiologist at whatever practice or place you're working at. Um, you can also do a dual PhD medical doctorate if you're wanting to work in a healthcare facility um, and hospitals. Um, after getting your master's, it can be difficult to find a job without experience. So uh, Government places such as the CDC offer summer internships um, and internships after you graduate so you can have a little bit of experience before finding um, you know, your first job. So the personality traits and physical requirements. You must have a strong understanding of medical and biological process. It's critical for effective analysis of how to prevent and treat diseases. Uh, the, the probably the, the biggest skill is you have to have a strong understanding of statistical concepts. You have to do a lot of data gathering and you have to be able to create credible real world conclusions from the data that you gather. Critical thinking skills are necessary. You have to be able to understand how to use all of the statistical tools um, and you have to be able to understand how to use biological concepts. Strong communication skills, uh, your ideas that you put together must be properly conveyed to others. Epidemiologists have to be able to communicate because their communication is how policymakers make new policies to prevent diseases from happening or you know you have to be able to communicate to the public what's going on. Um, attention to detail is a really big skill to have. You must be accurate with all the data you gather um, and analyze and as well as you know identifying issues in numerical data. Computer skills are needed. Uh, most data collection, storage, and analysis is done on computers, so an epidemiologist must know how to properly use the technology um, that they have to store their information in. Um, attractive and unattractive features. So for attractive, as an epidemiologist, you are making a positive difference in the world. You're trying to improve the health and well-being of a large number of people through research and your findings. There is a lot of satisfaction in this kind of work, and it's a very well-respected um, profession. Uh, the work is very intellectually challenging, uh, and typically there's a great variety in work done. New discoveries happen daily, so it's exciting and very dynamic. Uh, if you like to travel, there are many positions that offer travel, so there's ample opportunity for trips to different places in the U.S. and outside. Uh, most places of employment offer great benefits, um, and especially if you work for the government or in a university, uh, so your job security is a huge plus. The unattractive features um, is that it takes a great investment in both time and money to become an epidemiologist. Many years of school are required to enter this field because for a master's, it's at least six years if you, you know, do, do everything traditionally, but sometimes it can take longer. Um, and for a doctorate, it can eight years or more. And then also, to obtain a master's, it's not cheap. I mean, depending on what colleges you go to, um, and if you don't have family or scholarships paying for it, it can end up costing a lot in student loans. Um, and then despite the many years of school and the money that you put into your education, the salary is not always the best. Um, depending on what kind of jobs you get in the beginning, your salary probably won't be that great. In the future, you have ability to make more, but it's, it's harder than with some other positions. 
Um, and then there's no instant gratification. Uh, the gains and side effects are long term and can take years before an epidemiologist discovers the correct method to treat a disease. Um, and then there's more years to do clinical trials to make sure that treatment works and passes. And you don't see the impact of your work as if like you were a doctor treating someone as a patient, you would see them get better. As an epidemiologist, you don't see that. Um, and then this is my reference. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Have a great day.